Fog City Tactical here with a tabletop review of a bipod I just uh, picked up. Uh, let me grab the package here. So this is a UTG bipod. Uh, the packaging says there it's uh, 6.1 to 7.9. And here's the uh, part number TLBP78. It's the Harris uh, knockoff bipod, you know, it's just the ones with the spring. So I was looking for something, you know, I could just take to the range. And not shoot out the bag, because that kind of sucks sometimes. And I've been out there sometimes, there's not even any bags left over. I'm shooting just, you know, without even being stable. So anyhow, so that's how it looks like. Get an idea. Um, the reason why I went with this bipod, as you can see on the back here, is there is a uh, built-in adapter that, you know, clamps right onto a uh, Picatinny rail. You can see it, you know. It's loose there, and you just basically tighten this down, and it squeezes down. Pretty straightforward. Uh, all metal construction, what I can tell. I think it, yeah, it's probably steel. It's pretty, pretty solid. I don't think it's aluminum. Uh, it's got rubber uh, feet. Um, these extend out like that, so about two inches extension. So that's probably the eight inch. Um, push these buttons here. That drops it down. You could also adjust it right here. So you could have these at any you know position if you're some you know you needed something that was a little uh, I guess off center or, or not really uh, uh, you know stable platform you're off of when you turn these these uh, screws these just drop down so pretty straightforward um, the uh, bipod also came with some different mounts let me go ahead and grab those so you uh, see what other options you have with this mount which is actually pretty cool I guess um, if you have a rifle with a, a swivel stud. You could actually put this adapter on here, and you can see there is a uh, flathead screw uh, that goes all the way through. And if you take this mount, put it onto the stud, and then the screw you'd slide through the stud, and get this in camera, you would just tighten that up, and you can see it'd be pretty straightforward. And then once this is on the rifle, you can install the uh, Picatinny rail section on here. You'd going to go ahead and oh, let's get that back in there. Go ahead and grab the nut. And then, uh, you know, tighten this down. So just to get an idea how that looks. That's an option. I don't think I'd be using it, but, uh, you know, it came with it, so I probably won't throw it out, but I'll keep it. So that's how it would look like if you had a, a swivel stud, and, you'd, of course, you'd grab the uh, bipod, that clamp onto there. It'd look something like that. Get you an idea. So, again, I'm going to just use this for something different. So I'm going to go and grab my uh, rifle and mount this and just see how it looks. So on the bottom of my uh, Stag Model 8... Uh, on the gas block itself, there's a small Picatinny rail section, so that will allow me to install this on here without any issues. You just you know go right on. It's going to take all of about two seconds, and uh, just get it hand tight so you can see it. That's it mounted up. That's the screw. It does have a uh, slot so you can get in there with a big straight screwdriver, and that's what it looks like when it's uh, you know in its up position. Pull this down. You just you know pull these bars down. Pretty straightforward. So that's when the uh, rifle's in its, uh, I guess, or the bipod's in its lowest position at six inches. And if we extend these up, that's in eight inches. So it gets an idea. I guess if you're from the rear, if you want to look how it looks like, it would look like that, I guess, if you're shooting. So pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing I could see a negative, and nothing fancy pointed this out, is uh, if you watch the bipod, it's going to stay still. And check out the rifle. It's moving back and forth. So I need to go in here. And what he said to do, which I'm going to go ahead and do, if you see the uh, bottom here, you can see there's a uh, Allen head bolt right there. Take that out, shoot some brake clean in, put some Loctite. I'll put the uh, uh, bipod in a vise and just going to just crank the crap out of that, that bolt down there. And that should keep that from moving because right now you can see it moves around a lot and that would kind of suck. So we'll get that fixed. So, you know, I don't want to run this too long in this video because it's pretty straightforward. Not much to bipods. Uh, well, you know, let's take it off. So let's show you how easy to take it off. So, you know, just pop those back in place and pop these up here. Let's lower that down. Oh, I've got this screw. And you can see you undo the uh, nut right here. Let's get this in place. And it's off. So there we have it. UTG bipod. Six to eight inch version with these uh, return springs. I think it's going to do really well with what I'm going to do with it. And um, I should be happy with it. So please leave any comments, any questions you might have. Subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.